Here's how to upload guides and other items to your stand store. Once you're here, click add a product. Show more, sell it digital download. Go ahead and fill out all this information. And then you can add a custom image, which I created a smart mock-up in Canva. Let me show you that real quick. Once you're in Canva, scroll down to smart mock-ups. Choose the style mock-up that you want to put your product in. I chose this one. Scroll down, find which one you love. I chose this one. Select. You can either upload one or choose your design, which is so cool. So I chose this new one that I just created, which is my quick response cheat sheet. Select. It automatically populates it, but you can edit this. Look how cool. Go to adjust image. Change if you want it to fit, fill, stretch, or even custom. And the position, save. Look at that. Now I'm going to pick it out since I already downloaded it. Now that you go ahead and crop it, click crop. And look how good that looks. After you get your title and your image, go to edit checkout. Fill in all of the relevant information. And right here, you can actually see a really awesome preview of how it's going to look. I like to include all the details of what you're going to get by purchasing this quick response cheat sheet. The price, if you want to offer a discount, what kind of fields, what information you need from the customer, and then upload your document here and publish. Once that's downloaded, publish. And now you can see what your actual stand store looks like. I need to move some things around. So we easily go here. We find it. Here it is. Click here and just drag it up. You can connect this to MailChimp. So you're going to go back to whatever quick, whatever item you wanted to add. Go over to advanced options, email integrations, connect MailChimp and make sure to either add a different audience or the tag and then hit publish. If you're using a free account with MailChimp like I am, you can only have one audience, which totally stinks, but you can create multiple tags within that same contact list or audience. So click on tags, then go to create tag and just tag it. And once you do that, you go back to stand, save, update again, and then it will be listed here in the drop down once you create that new one so you can easily segment out your audience members. My quick response cheat sheet is now available for a limited time at a discount.